Welcome to CK Physics. The topic is density and the objective for this experiment is to determine the density of an irregular solid, in this case a pebble, and the apparatus that I have, one, an electronic balance for measurement of mass, a measuring cylinder, it will help me in measuring the volume, a eureka can, it's also known as an overflow can, it will help me in measuring volume together with the measuring cylinder, and of course I have water, which is going to help me use the displacement method for determination of volume. You might notice that unlike the case where I have a big enough measuring cylinder to determine the volume directly by displacing the liquid, in this case the solid does not fit in the measuring cylinder. If that is the reason why I'm going to use an overflow can. First, I'm going to determine the mass of my pebble by placing it carefully on the pan of an electronic balance. It gives me 40.14 40 grams. And after that, I will want to determine its volume. And what I will do is pour water into the Eureka can, into the overflow can, until the water overflows from the spout. This spout is the one that will determine that I've put in enough water. So if you have a quick look, there is that overflow of water. Once it overflows and the overflowing stops, then I will now tie my solid using a thin string. And next I'm going to trap any water that will be displaced in using a measuring cylinder. So I'll have my measuring cylinder here, I'll place it right there and then immerse my solid fully in the Eureka can until all the water that overflows stops overflowing and the volume of water displaced should be equal to the volume of the solid. In this case when I take my reading taking care of parallax errors, I'm having my eye level with the reading being taken and I'm keeping my eye at the bottom end of the meniscus. What I have is um, 10, 15, 16 cubic centimeters. Of course, I didn't allow all the water to overflow, but that gives a quick idea of what volume we are dealing with. So after this, I will go ahead and say the mass I obtained there divided by the volume of the liquid displaced will give me the density. And my answer, of course, in grams per cubic centimeter. If I wish to change it to kilograms per cubic meter, I will multiply that answer by 1,000. Thank you.